Can y'all hear me? Okay. Um. Welcome. I have never done this before. Um. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to play this game. It's called Among Us, as you can see. So first thing you wanna do is uh. Go just find it again. Hit the find game button. So basically, what you want to do? You want to hit online. Well, make yourself a name, obviously, and then go to public. Hit find game. But before we do that, you can also host the game, which allows you to create a game. These are like different maps. Uh, max players. You can make it seven of max, ten. Uh, oh, one more thing about that is the imposters can make them multiple too. So if you only have one imposter, you can choose up to four people that can only be in the game. So yeah. Um, also in private, this is where you enter code. So let's say like your friend is hosting a game. What then you can do is you can enter in their code. Like let's say their code was Q B L J L K. So then you would hit enter in that, and yeah, that's what happens if uh, it's not a real game code. But if it is, it'll take you to the game. So now let's get into this. So I was gonna find a server. Oh, this one has five people in it. Let's see. So, I, I like the color black because it matches my stuff. Uh, and if you go next to this computer when you spawn in, this is just like the lobby. You can like go to this and it'll show you a bunch of these cool things. So like basically you can go to your color and choose a different color. Uh, you can choose a different hat. Uh, pets, which that costs money and skins cost money. But, and then this is like the, the settings of the game. So that is the settings of the game. And then this is chat. So you can't talk in game. You can only like talk like in the lobby or something. So I'm gonna say, please start game. Okay, there's 10 people in the game now. So he's gonna start it because max people. Max people is 10, he said it to max people is 10. So. If there's seven or more people and you have it on up to two imposters, then uh, there's going to be two imposters. I just got a crewmate, which is the basic one, which means don't get killed. <laughs> so there's two imposters, and basically what the imposter's job is to disable stuff. And then the crewmates, they have to run around and do these crazy tasks that let them live and so you also have these other tasks oh somebody just found a dead body so when somebody finds a dead three people are dead so when somebody finds a dead body they report it and then you get like into this session and you ask like who you think the imposter is so I don't know, because I did not see anything. So I have no clue. So I'm just going to say IDK in chat, which means I don't know. In, in chat. Uh, no, I was in cafeteria. I just did med scan. Somebody left the game? I don't know who to vote for. I'm just going to vote uh, red. I voted. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who it is. I just voted red. Who is it? So it is in like 20 seconds. So you, you're on a time limit. Some people, they set it to like 120 seconds. I don't know how to change it though. I don't think you can change it. But, um, so it's just 120 seconds. Like you have 120 seconds at max to vote. Oh, what? Everybody skipped. Because <laughs> they didn't know who it was. So, yeah, you can also vote to skip if you don't know who it is. If there is also a tie, 
then it'll just say tie. No one is ejected. So, if you are an imposter, you can go in these little vents. It'll pop up, go in vent. So, like, I'm with this person. Please don't kill me. Yo! Oh, the oxygen. So, bro, they keep disabling the oxygen. So, I gotta do this again. So, with the oxygen, you have to enter this weird code. Wait, did I not do that? Oh, no, there's another one. We're all gonna die. No, we're dead. Nobody's there. No, we died. We were on a time limit. We were literally on a time limit. So if you don't do that in a time limit, after every game, there's an ad, obviously. A horrible five-second ad. But, um, so if you don't do this stuff within a time limit, then it's, uh, that happens. And it kills everybody. So, yeah. And so, like, for the other tasks, like, um, with the, if the communications get disabled, what you want to do is you want to enter in... You have to match up the line. So, like, one of them will be just, like, normal. Then the other one will be, like, super bad. And you have to turn this little valve to make them match. So, I'm going to get into one more game here. See, bro, start the game. What are you doing? I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. Start the game. Oh, there we go. Am I an imposter? Oh, I'm a crewmate again, man. I got the worst luck. Okay, so there are so many people. I'm scared. Oh, and this is the emergency button. So if you hit use, and then eventually that'll open up. And now you can press that button. Somebody just called an emergency meeting. Oh, I accidentally called him. Wait, was that me? Oh, yeah, I, I accidentally called him. <laughs> I don't know even how I did that. How did I do that? I'm gonna say whoops and jet. Just say whoops and jet. Whoops. Come on, why it's gotta be so long till you can vote, man? G bot. What? No! Nah. Nah, bruh. Why? I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Okay. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna be so mean to this dude. Okay, I leave. Wait, I gotta. See. Okay, I leave. Okay, I leave. Did everybody vote for me? I'll just vote for myself. Whatever. <laughs> Are you serious? Everybody voted for me. This is the cruelest game ever. <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> that was so mean. So you can also go here at like the beginning, how to play. Among Us is a game of teamwork and betrayal. All player players are either crewmates or an imposter. Play with four to ten players online or via local Wi-Fi. Uh, so you can go to the controls. So basically, um, in a game, there's like um controls. So like if you hit the settings button. It'll let you choose a joystick or to just be able to put your finger anywhere and it'll move it. And you can choose how big you want the uh, joystick to be, which um, how to make the joystick bigger is it's a size button. And then when you get next to something, it'll, it'll say use. And then you tap that use button and it'll let you go into that. So, when hosting a game, you have control over how the game plays. Firstly, determine who you want to play with. If you want to play with friends online, set to private and share the room code. So, basically, the room code is just you enter that code, which is in online and private. You just enter the code. That also works on public, too. Um, that's, so if you just want to play with your friends, put it on private. Anybody who has the code, uh, it'll let them come in. So, if you want to play with others from all around the world, set to public. So that means that anybody can join. 
Uh, one time I had like brother, two brothers join. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, one time, so they, the two brothers joined, and then one of them tried to kill me, but he accidentally killed his brother. So he was like, "Whoops." <laughs> So, once you play with more tasks, how about faster walk speed, more imposters, as hosts you can change these settings. Be sure to confirm settings with your fellow players. So, I don't know how you change them. I don't know how you do that. It's the one thing I don't know. If someone is being rude and slash or spamming, hosts can temporarily kick players as a warning or ban them from the Pacific Online Room. So, yeah, you can literally ban them so they can't come back. Um, players have access to a personal map to help them nav- navigate the ship. So, if you go into, like, the admin room, I think, it'll show you a map of the entire place. It'll show you, like, if somebody's in this room, then it'll show that many people in the room. So, the crew object. So, this is what the crewmates do. Fill group task bar or discover the imposter. So if you see a somebody die, then just run, call an emergency meeting, and be like, "Dude, I saw this guy doing something. He was not do doing something. He's not doing something that a crewmate would do. He was sabotaging something, or he killed somebody." So yeah, and if you find a dead body, you can report it, which means it automatically calls an emergency meeting. So yeah, in the admin room. Um, that's where you see the map. So, complete task to fill the gauge. Uh, reach to imposter sabotage. Call emergency meeting when imposter found. Report dead bodies. Check admin map and security for suspicious activity. Um, the imposter. So, this is the imposter's job. Kill off the crew. Blend in with the crew. So, like, earn their trust. Sneak through vents. So, like, you can go in the vents. So, you can kill somebody, go in the vents, and then move. Pretend to run tasks. Pretend to do these tasks. Pretend to do tasks. Because then they'll think you're a crewmate. Sabotage the ship and confuse the crew. So, yeah, you sabotage it and then... So, yeah, you sabotage it and then they have to go do something. Close doors and trap victims. Basically, lock them. Kill off the crew between cooldowns. Yeah, do that. Like So, when I would kill it is... If there's only one person in the room and nobody else, I would kill them, then probably hop in a near vent and go somewhere else where nobody is. Or if there's like 15 people in one section, then kill them because it could be like a million people. So while playing in person, no one talking, no one is allowed to keep the game fair between the crew and the imposter. So you can't talk during the game. Um... If a player is killed by the imposter, they cannot talk until the game ends. Yeah, would you? Yeah, because then they could just give away who the imposter is. Ghosts still run their assigned tasks working towards a possible crewmate's win. So, yeah, if you're a ghost, you can still, like, run on and do stuff. When someone reports a dead body or calls an emergency meeting, the crew gathers to discuss what they know about the imposter. Uh, players can now talk openly about who they think the imposter is and what information they have. So basically, when an emergency meeting is called or something, everybody talks to each other and just says, uh, I think it's this person, I think it's this person, and then they all agree on one person and they all vote that person out. So, uh, when players... Okay, when playing in person, ghosts cannot talk as they already know who the imposter is because they died to him. It shows you who it is after you die. Imposters will try to prove their innocence or accuse another crew member, basically earn the crew's trust. So, after discussion, vote who you think the imposter is. Whoever gets majority votes will be ejected from the ship, so vote wisely. If you don't have enough information and have decided as a crew, you can also skip to avoid avoid ejecting someone innocent and gather more information. So, practice in free play mode. So, if you go into free play mode, it's basically just a bunch of bots. 
Set your own tasks as a crew member or practice your imposter killing strategy. So it just puts you in a bot game mode, basically. So that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. So signing off. Bye.